live in a world today where, forgive me, the concept of the justice of God, people don't want to deal with. Now, I love the grace of God. Please forgive me, brothers and sisters. Where would we be without the grace of God? But grace wouldn't mean anything if God was also not a God of justice. If God was not a God of justice, Jesus would have never needed to take our punishment on the cross. The punishment that brought us peace was placed upon him. See, we, we can never get this idea that God tolerates sin. God is a God of justice. Now, I want to read you a passage today, and it's going to stumble you just a little bit, so hold steady. 1 Samuel chapter 15, beginning with verse 1. One day Samuel said to Saul, It was the Lord who told me to anoint you as king of his people, Israel. Now listen to this message from the Lord. This is what the Lord of heaven's army has declared. I have decided to settle the accounts with the nation of Amalek for opposing Israel when they came out of Egypt. God said, I have decided to settle accounts. Wow. Brothers and sisters, the justice of God moves very slowly. But God is a God of justice. And there comes a day when God settles accounts. He is not just a God of mercy. He is also a God of justice. Now, in this world that we live in today, everything is about grace. But people don't even want to talk about sanctification. They don't want to talk about living a holy life. They don't want to talk about reaping what you've sown. They don't want to talk about retribution, making things right. And they sure don't want to talk about a God of justice who settles accounts. Now, the scripture is very, very clear. God says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Don't, don't go out and take vengeance. Vengeance belongs to God. There will come a day of reckoning for all the things that have been done to hurt you and try to destroy you in life. There will come a day when the God of justice will settle accounts. And I don't believe it's just in the next life. I believe it's here on earth. I believe there comes a day when God just says, okay, I'm going to settle accounts. And when God settles accounts, God settles accounts. Every one of us at some point or another have in our life have had the impact of sin and wickedness brought against us. But remember, leave the vengeance with God. And he's not going to forget it. Either people repent and get right, or there comes a day that God settles accounts.